Hi, it's me again. El Tico, all the way from Costa Rica. At this moment, I'm going to uh, take the opportunity to explain to you that it's very important in a fruit tree or an uh, ornamental tree to remove the water grows and the sake at the right moment before they get too large, where they're going to compete with the good canopy of the tree, the good branches that are going to produce the fruit. Like this sucking in here should have, uh, or water grows in here should have been removed many, several years ago. So, because it's, it's competing with the rest of the branch structure of the tree, with the branches that produce the, the fruit. So this, this is a, a branch that has to be removed. It's a big water growth, big sucker in here. Uh, now, used to be a little baby like this one here, see this one? That should be removed, something like when they was this large. But now, look, at it's after three years, four years, this got very large, but has to be removed. It's affecting, affecting, the production of fruit in this tree. It's getting a lot of energy from these other branches, the other branches that produce the fruit. This will produce the fruit, but all the way up there, we want the fruit in the lower, lower uh, branches of the tree. This is so large, it's taking me time to remove just only one sucker in here. Oh, what it grows. They were giving me a hard time. I'm going to open a large area in here so I can get deeper in there to finish cutting the branch. Now, carefully, I need to pull it down without giving too much pressure because I don't want to break the good branches. Then carefully, I'm going to pull it this way. So this is a tree. We, uh, the first time that I come here, so first time that I am cutting branches, so in this one here also, a water grows so a sucker like this has to be removed from here. We don't need it in there. So this is again, this is a pomegranate tree. Cut it like that. Then, and so we open up <coughs> the branch structure of the tree. And that way we are going to permit more, more air circulating in the branch, in the branch system on the canopy. And also we are going to open up the canopy of the tree, so more sunlight coming through, more air is going to be circulating. Though we don't need it, we don't need this one either. And we need to cut this one before it gets as, as big as the other one that we just cut in there. They give me, give me a hard time. Always cut the branches at the color of the, color of the branch. Take your time to do it right. Pull it carefully. 
So you don't break the uh, branches. This is one more small sucker in here, could be removed. Water grows, one more in here. Always cutting at the ridge of the branch, the collar of the branch. One more in here, it should be cut. Perfect, now we are starting to open up the branch structure. In here, we are going to, I need to select some of these branches to only pick and open up. So I'm going to look for the branches more in the center or this other one. So in that way I can open up the branches structure in here because there are too many branches. decided to not cut the one uh, open up the canopy of the tree right here this two two dense looking here this this is a, a more open canopy more sunlight is going to hit the the branches and then more branches are going to be producing fruit because now the sun the sun energy is getting in there so so we are going to have more fruit you can see here where we have uh, several fruit in here. Uh, I need to be careful where I can cut branches. They, they don't have, they don't have too, much, too many thick in here, so I will cut the one in here. Open up a little bit of the branch. Structure uh, in here, the one. This one doesn't look that bad. Um, in here, one more sucker in here. The water growth should be cut like this side, not like this side. This is already too big because uh, they're not, they are not giving the right maintenance to the tree. This should be come out. Should I come out? Perfect. Then um, there is a few seconds in there that should be cut, but uh, we are getting uh, we been very good in here. I'm going to cut one more branch in here in the middle so i can open up this canopy a little bit more so more sunlight is going to be hitting the horizontal branches they are going to be producing the fruit more air is going to be circulating in, in the canopy for the tree then uh, now if we uh, give another look to the canopy of the tree from here this is a crossing branch in here. We're going to cut it right there. So you can see in here with this, it looks a little more open than before after cutting all these branches. So the canopy is beginning to shape up. Uh, open up in there, removing some of the suckers. Like in here again, this, this should be a sucker that should be removed. The material all the way to the collar of the ridge of the branch. The material, another sucker. Oh, this one we can leave it, has nice little branches in there, but this one is going out. Coming out. Then now we have another big one that we can remove. The tree doesn't need it in there. It will take me a little bit of time to do this one, but this one should have been cut maybe three, four years ago. Then 
my hand saw is beginning to lose sharpening so i need to get a new blade or get a new hand saw uh, i want to i want to pull it out this other way so we are going to bring it up here and put it this way let me pick up my saw can see still we have plenty of branches on the top we just remove the branch that uh, was keeping giving us a lot of uh, this is a sake but this is giving us uh, it's part of the canopy now the tree but this little sake we can remove it okay. Sucking in here, also we can remove it. Open up a little bit the canopy up there. And some of those sockets we need to build it up there to uh, those a few sockets in here will be part of the canopy of the tree. And there is a few a few other ones need to be cut in there, but the tree is beginning to look open up and looking much 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 better. In here, I think we are going to leave this one, but we are going to cut this one in here. Oh, shoot. You don't oh, do no. that. You don't do that. It's a, this is a mistake that a lot of people make. I did it today. I put put the hand saw too, too far out. Then I uh, when I push in, I bend the tip and then the blade broke like that. It's unfortunately because it was a nice hand saw, but now, now it's not going to. Uh, but I'm going to finish cutting this branch in here. Cutting these uh, large suckers, I think we need to cut a little bit more, but uh, I wanted to show you how to look for uh, large suckers. The tree doesn't need in the canopy, and um, the tree doesn't need in the, in the canopy. We have still, you can see in there, we need to remove a few uh, suckers, but we already, as you can see, we remove many of the large suckers, and still, we can see a, a nice, a nice canopy of the tree here from underneath. It, it need to be open a little bit more, but not that much. And then now we're going to have a, a nice horizontal gloss of branches that are going to be producing the fruit. And that's what we're looking for in a, in a, in a fruit, in a producing a, a fruit trees. So I hope this is going to help you to uh, prune some of the um, 
the pomegranate trees. Pomegranate trees, they have a, the tendency to grow too many water growth or suckers and to grow crossing branches. So you need to work, you need to work in, right in the beginning to build uh, on the canopy of the tree to build a nice branch structure formation. So see you the next time. Hasta la vista, mi amigo. Pura vida.